I'm Zane. <laughs> I'm Toaf. I'm Rishi. I'm BBMD. I'm Music King. <laughs> and I'm Ken. Nice. Uh, we did it. And First we hurdle being... cleared. Let's go us. I think it's cool if we get like Ken first, since you know, obviously we're the first best Marth player. Okay. Um, like, yeah. Why did you? Why did you like decide to pick the character? And also, what did you think of Marth at the time? I mean, I started off with I started off with Link first, right? And then um, I usually oh. like to play all the sword characters in like any game, because like I have like a history for like playing like RPG games and stuff, right? So then, uh, well, with Smash 64, before, I played Falcon, and then um, when Melee came out, I played Link first, and then because Falcon was just so different, and then when I unlocked Ganon, I was like, oh, Ganon seems more kind of like uh, the Falcon 64. So I started playing Ganon, and then when I unlocked Marth, like Marth was so similar to like the Falcon in Melee, and he had a sword, so I just generated towards that character. Like it was. Uh -huh. But that, I mean, that's why I picked Marth. He's like very similar to the character I played in 64. When you, because obviously, you know, like these days, there's like a really established tier list um, and people are, you know, but but back then, was there a sense of like, like when you started playing Marth, were you like, oh, this character seems really strong or, or were people not even as worried about that sort of thing back then? Uh, for As a tier list, Marth wasn't even like top five, I think. People said he had potential to be top five. But then like, uh -huh. I guess the game wasn't discovered. He was like in mid tier. When uh when I when I started playing, but then people said he had a lot of potential to be like I guess like top five, but back then I guess like the Spaceys and Sheik were like top, and then um in I think in Japan they had Jigglypuff as number one. Hmm. Oh damn! Sheik was number one oh, back then. That's visionary. Uh, yeah, Sheik remember... was number one in the states. Uh, you were right about uh -huh. that. But in in Japan, um, Jigglypuff was number one. Yeah, but uh, I mean in in Japan they uh they put Marth like I think number eight or nine. And then, yeah, wrong. <laughs> and then in, wow. in, in America, they said he had potential, but he was around eight or nine, too. So until I started playing, and then the, he moved up the ranks pretty fast. I guess we can just go around. Uh, yeah, Mewtwo King. I mean, obviously, like, you, I think you started with, like, well, I guess, okay, I guess you started with Mewtwo. Okay, but... so I could explain who I started with, but <laughs> so I started in Smash 64 when Smash 64 came out, and I played every character for fun. And then I played wow. every single character in Melee before I knew tournaments existed. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, well, here's the best. Um, and it was like, uh, I made Doc actually, Doctor Mario, before my first tournament. Like, oh. so I was ex, but then I was, I heard about tournaments, and around then I was practicing Fox because I saw Fox was the best, and I also saw a video of, I think his name was Tetsuya, a Fox player. So, Music King. So fast forward. Obviously, you had a, you know, we, we, you know, everyone knows about the the Fox era, the Mewtwo era. When you switched to Marth, like, was there like a particular reason for that? Okay, Obviously, okay. I think these days you're most known for your Marth. Okay, so to be honest with you, I had like a Doc and a a. Fox and a Sheik and a Marth back in the old days. If you mm -hmm. look at my really old matches against Wes or something, you could see like when it, when it was really really bad then. But like I was working on all the characters, over, like I was working on all my characters like every month. So I would get oh, okay. better at, at the game as a whole with because I actually I didn't just play like I wasn't just playing to be best. I played because I loved it. So I was like, okay, well I know a lot about the game. I love the game. I want to be the best of all the characters and stuff just for fun, right? So I was working, like, of course I'll work on Fox more because he's my main, but I'll work on a bunch of characters just because I enjoyed what I do, you know? So I was getting better with my Sheik and my Marf and my Fox and my Doc and all my, and my, my Falcon and all these other characters at the same time. And um, then I was like, okay, so my uh, Fox controller broke just before the MLG 2006 finals. And uh, I, you know how in Melee, in Video Melee, if your controller breaks, uh, you can't dash back anymore? I couldn't actually dash back. At all. So if I would like up throw somebody with Fox, I would and I would do the, the inputs for dash back up air. I'll just get stuck and turn around every time. Which now right. you see have fixes, but we didn't have that then. So you're literally at the mercy of like, oh my control broke, I'm screwed. <laughs> On that note, actually, um, I actually fr from that moment I'm like, wow, this really affects Fox a lot. And ironically, I, I went to Marf, who is also affected just as much, but for some reason then I thought Fox was affected even more. So I was like, okay, well maybe I should use Marf. And the thing that what, what the thing that really got me on Marf was at that same tourney. I was playing PC Chris in friendlies, and I played as in friendlies. I was beating PC most of the time when I I usually I, I usually lose to him with Fox, right? But I was mm. beating him most of the games in Marf vs. Falco in friendlies at that tourney. And then I played as in in one Marf Ditto. We only had one friendly that whole day, and I four stocked in that game. I was like, oh my god, my oh. Marf is crazy good. Uh, I literally four stocked as in the only game we, the only game they played. I was like, wait, I should just have faith. And in my he Marf. was he was ridiculous back then. I mean, yeah, he, he was you know he was players. really good then. I, uh, but. Yeah. I was like, okay, wait. If I just force talk in the only game, the only game we played, I should 
probably invest more in Marth. <laughs> right. And then, yeah, it's probably so good then side. I was like, okay, I can't wait. Like right when I get home, I'm gonna get new controller. I'm gonna start practicing, practice even more. And then there was like no tourneys for well, there wasn't like any majors until Cataclysm, so I couldn't really prove myself on a major scale until then. From then I was just like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna main Marth no matter what. Mm -hmm. Right after this tourney ends, because the friendlies that I was playing against all top players, well, I do better against PC Chris, I do better against Az. It's like, who knows who I'll do better against? Like, I'll just invest in Marth more. Um, obviously, for Zane, you know, PP and, and Rishi, y'all being a little more new school, uh, especially with PP, I mean, everyone knows about the uh, I needed a longer dash story uh, when you switched to, well, not switched to, but, you know, started, started like using Marth seriously as a tournament character. Yeah. Rishi, I think probably for you, though, right? Like, I think your story is a little bit less well known so like yeah what was your kind of inspiration and what were your thoughts on yeah on, uh, i starting actually with Marth? i i relate to uh some elements of me to king's story where um so i i started with 64 too but i i was like five years old when that game came out i didn't understand what was happening on the screen uh so i started with luigi because that was my sister's favorite character and my older sister so i stuck with luigi for a long time but going into my first melee tournament uh, the only reason I know this is because I, I one time found a Smashboard signature I made where it had both me and Lod's characters on it. And uh, this was Bomb 4 in 2005. Uh, I dual mained Luigi and Marth, and my brother dual mained Sheik and Ganon. But after that, <laughs> yeah, but after that, um, I did kind of the same thing Mutant King did where I just kind of learned every character one by one. Uh, I would definitely spend like a full month just playing one character and like watching combo videos and trying to figure out what each character did. Um, I don't remember if that was something that I kind of innately found fun, like picking up multiple characters, or if I was inspired by Azin. Um, those two things definitely combined at some point, uh, where like I just really admired Azin's whole like master of diversity thing, and I was like, I want to do that. I want to be able to be anyone with like any character. When it comes to Marth, I actually don't remember when I. Oh, that's a lie. I do remember actually the moment I I did switch to solo Marth because for a long time I like dual and tri mained. Uh, I was tri maining like Marth Fox and Luigi for a long time, and it was at a local that I was playing both Fox and Falco, and I I had to play uh, the Moon, and I was like. I don't know, my Fox and Falco feel kind of shaky today. I remember the day before mm. hitting up Red, I was like, yo, how do I beat the moon with Fox? Because I want to play Fox right now. But the day, it was like an in-bracket decision. I was like, I don't think I can do it with Fox today because I'm just feeling shaky. So I, I played Marth and I beat him in the ditto. And that was the first time where I was like, I think if I actually invest the time into Marth, I think I could probably be a top player. So that was kind of mm. the start of it. I remember watching that set. Dude, Zane, um, when you started, was Rishi... I don't know. Like, I think the, 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 probably there's a lot of details that people don't really know about, but I, yeah. I kind of assume that, um, since, you know, obviously you, you, you and Rishi were probably going to some of the same tournaments because MDVA. Yeah. Like, did you guys talk a lot? Was Rishi any sort of like, I don't know, like a Marth inspiration or mentor or anything like that? Or is that, fair yeah, to say? that definitely. Like, well, I was like not nearly as good. I think the first time I met Rishi was at a Xanadu. It was, mm. it was, uh, we, we just played friendlies. We didn't play in like, no, we did play in bracket. And you mentioned that you went to UVA and I went to tech. Um, and then over the course of time of like 2015, 2016, we would go to like, we'd be at the same, like uh, same tournaments. And he would just like, he'd play me and he'd like, tell me uh, like, Oh, you can like pivot tipper Fox off of up throw at these percents um, off of like these DIs. And I'd be like, okay. And I like, he would just tell me like something that he was like working or labbing on. And I would do like, be like, I'm going to yoink that because <laughs> that's like really good. But everyone in this call, I think you would have it mastered by the next time we played. I, I distinctly remember thinking about that. I was like, I'd always give Zane like a tidbit. And the next time we played, he had it like down a hundred percent. I, I think everyone in this call, I've, I've like taken a lot of inspiration from over the course of time. Like I watched the docs. So I'd watch like, is my senior year of high school i'd watch like a lot of ken videos and then 2015 um i watched like a lot of mutant king versus spaces and just try to like copy punish game stuff um P after pp1 apex i like studied a bunch of his videos a lot of like my chic gameplay is like molded after PP. Well, you, you know what's funny zane like um when i watch other marts like i could tell like okay they're different marts but i watch your mart that's very similar to mine i'm just like okay i would do that in like this situation and that you know is that because he's red 
I mean, he's, he's, I mean, he's red, but I, I think he has the same, like, in terms of, like, um, thinking style that I do in certain, like, situations. Like, mm-hmm. PBMD's Mars is so different than mine. Like, he'd do a different thing in, like, certain situations. I think Meeting's Mars is like, more, like, kind of, like, optimal, and, and he always does the same things in certain situations. But, like, Zane does, like, different things, you know? Like, I, I could see, like, if Zane was playing his Marth, even if he's red or whatever, I'd be like, okay. Um, his Marth is very similar to mine in terms of, like, how he's thinking in, in, in this situation. I mean, obviously, there is, it's different in other ways, but um, I think we think the same in, in, in how we play Marth. For Zane, I would say for both of you guys, your styles were very built up on like building blocks of fundamentals uh and obviously i think the fundamentals of melee just look really different from you know 15 20 years ago than they do today but i can see how that same approach kind of yeah you know is is utilized i would say pp also uh you know at least from my perspective is also like very built off of like a set of fundamentals it just kind of looks a little bit different uh maybe more like movement based though I always find it interesting to hear people describe Mutaking's style because I've heard it described in many different ways. You know, there's uh, some popular things people say like optimized and like robotic, but I've always felt like Mutaking is like the number one Marth gambler. Like he he's gonna he's gonna like throw the dice and see where it lands, but like it's always loaded in his favor. Where mm. it's like he runs at you and you don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've. If you notice that when I play, I almost never use like dash tech versus spaces. Um or, like, like run up run up, run up for a smash. Run up that smash, yeah. And I tried to like study when Muta King would do that. And for like I think a long period of my gameplay, I was like, no, I can't. I was like, I just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I and then he like hits them with such high consistency and gets he, like stocks yeah. off of zero. You know? And I was like, I don't I like I don't know. But I, I've started to like implement that more in my game plan like late. Because it's just so huge. If you get a differ at zero percent, they're just dead. Uh, yeah. It's it's not it's not actually as random as people say. Um, it's, it's definitely it's not actually, random. It's actually yeah. no, it's not random. But, it's actually calculated, but for some reason the storyline is just random. And then and then a lot of people try to like act like it's random. It's just because I think is I I know what I'm doing, so I know it's I know it's not random. I'm doing it when I'm sure it's gonna work. And you know, back then when I was like more seriously competing more, I would actually I would have a little idea of what my opponent's little flow charts were. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Especially certain people that were like, talking shit about me, like Leffen. Uh, so I would like <laughs> study study uh, sur- uh I would study when people <laughs> were when I wanted to beat somebody. I would like okay, well I'm just gonna just review them real quick. Oh, they're always doing this after this. It's like okay, so. Based on that, and like based on other stuff I'm doing, I would know when it would when it would work. It's not just a fifty fifty like randomly that people are saying. It's there's there's a lot more that goes into it than that. But for some reason, that's not what like yeah most people mm-hmm. believe. Yeah, you play it, super player to player. player. What? Because when we play super player to player, because when you would like, this was like in 2018 or whatever when I'd play Hbox and Marth Puff, you would be like, he always does this, or he always has this habit, and you'd like type in all everyone caps, does. like bad habit. Yeah, <laughs> everyone does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. literally, it's a hundred percent of people. <laughs> mm-hmm. I yeah. missed those old music king notes. I, there's more I want to add. I mean, t- go ahead. To be honest, I've probably played a lot more melee against computers than I did people throughout my life. The thing is, a lot of people don't know that I use most of my practice comes from, like fighting level four computer fox and stuff. So I had a lot of time to like, okay, well, I could practice yeah. what the computers let me practice. So I could practice, you know, ledge dashing and stuff and, you know, different tech school routines. Like I would have time to practice this stuff, but I didn't have like, I don't know, like a worthy opponent to fight with the bulk of my time. Whereas a lot of our people on their come up, they'll probably fight humans more than computers. Like I'd say most people who are who got good, they fought people more than computers for with more than half their time, I would say. For me, it's the, the ratio is heavily favored and skewed in computers favor because I kind of lived in the middle of nowhere, and I like I wanted to be good, but I didn't have the resources at the time that mm-hmm. my motivation was at its highest. I think a lot of people don't really fully understand that part. So it's like, okay, so I was working with the tools I had. So for example, in Wes, I would fight Wes in 2000, um, February 14th, 2005, actually, is my first tournament. Um, and Wes would just wave that back and down smash to me because I had never fought a good person before. I didn't know about, like, uh, I just knew, okay, well, if I fight my friends or my family or a computer, if you aim in front of them or aim at them, you know, you hit them. But then he would move backwards. I was like, okay, well, that was my first time being used to that. So I've never experienced it up to that point. So it was, my, so it was the first everything. And then a few months later, it wasn't recorded, but uh, it was like, okay, he would wave that back. I'll just over, run one extra step and then up smash. I just came up with that idea on my own. I was like, well, no, I can't hit him. I'll just 
anywhere he's gonna be, not where he is. And I kind of came up with that on my own, like for the next for like two tournaments later. And that just had to, I just had mm-hmm. to learn from the experiences of fighting people. So I feel like there's a lot of people that could be like really good potentially, but they might not have had like the resources available to re- reach their full potential. Right. PB, this that is was, one of your big was, things too, right? Like, yeah, I mean, in terms of your you practice know, routine. Yeah, you want to make the most of the opportunities you have, right? Um, uh, whether that's computers, whether that's analysis, um, mm-hmm. something M2K also did really well. He was talking about earlier. Um, uh, the one person I really could play was my brother, so I played with him a whole lot. And oh, uh-huh, yeah, he played a few different characters. I played different ones to give him practice, or just for me. He didn't like it when I played Puff. I never learned how to play Puff. But you know <laughs> what? Dude, that's literally everyone. Even today, it's the same thing. Everyone's oh man, against Puff, dude. <laughs> The, the the whole narrative was of PP's the neutral game bar. You know, his right. neutral game. All neutral game. You know, his neutral right. game's so good. Neutral game this and that. You know, know. neutral game's the punish game one, right? Dude, right. can I just um, say it's that like... Game. Please say it. No, please say no, it. I want no, you to say it. It's so frustrating because my neutral I want you to say it. Than, my neutral is better in wow. 99.9% of people, jump. but since PP's is better, the, uh, wow. uh, especially <laughs> at that particular <laughs> time period, is like, okay, well, everyone's like, oh, well, PP's is better in Mewtwo King, so Mewtwo King's is bad. Like, get out of here. I'm literally better. And then on the flip side... 199 thousand people with this. Like, here. Yeah, and then on the flip side, with the punish game thing, is I played PP in tournament in like 2013, and PP zero death me like every stock. So it's like I was like, oh boy, sort of play a lot of neutral. Like man, there sure wasn't any punish game there. Like it's it's just like a you know it's people. It's it's so funny. Um, and I mean that that is common too for Marth to come up kind of one way or another, neutral or punish. Um. And so it makes sense, but I think once you get once you get far enough, you can't you can't start getting results without you know consolidating a lot of your game. Like it's almost just too obvious not mm-hmm. to when you get when you get to a certain level. Like there's just certain even if you're having a tough time, there are just certain easier things you can do to still just make things work. So I'm sure everyone everyone in the call knows about that. I mean, you have to have yeah. a good neutral and punish if you're like yeah, a you top Marth. You need both. So, yeah. yeah. I actually, I actually have a question for you, Ken, because I find that when I play like new games for the first time, um, like if I just pick up a character or something, I'm so bad at just like formulating something on my own from scratch. Yeah, um, like any fighting game or whatever. But when you when you start like you, you were saying that Marth was like considered mid tier when when you played him. Yeah. Like, what what I, I I've never done it like where like you bring up the character yourself. I've always just like taken what's around me and like tried to like meld it into my own style. Yeah. But uh, how do you, how did you find that? Like, well, when I play yeah. games, I, I try to think of things to, to make me more unique, I, I guess. Like I kind of want to be different than other people. Right. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't want to pick the same character that everybody always picks. And cause just cause people say it's good. Like I want to invent things. Like I'm kind of like an innovator in kind of anything I do in life. So it just like puts in games too. Like when I play a game, I always do something different. Like even like when I used to play Dota, people would have like these set builds, right? Like League or Dota, they make you pick a certain um, um, weapons or uh, items that you get just from. Uh, it's like the the items that you should get, right? But I always mm-hmm. would make my different items. Like I'd make like a different item on a certain character that people wouldn't think, right? So. I mean, that, that, that goes with Smash, too, so um, I just stick with the character, and I just, like, think of things and ways that I could do that would make this character better. Yeah. And and any game I pick up, I would just do something different, and people are just like, oh, I didn't know you could do that, and then I do that, and then it becomes the norm. So, I mean, it's just, like, mm. I, I think it's the person, uh, like, I think that I have, like, a trait that I have, like, I, I invent things, and then people will see that and they, they just practice it and make it better you know i, I think um i remember when i played meets king in a friendly for the first time like i was training every him on fd with his fox and he like he couldn't he was like oh i can't do anything i can move or whatever next thing you know like he goes home and then he practices chain grab and next time yeah. i see him I he's like doing bomb soldier i, I yeah. studied wait can, can i can i elaborate on this story oh, i'll like to tell the story but you can go ahead oh, go oh you it. can if you want but i could i might be able to go in more detail if well, anyways, yeah, I I, tra- I I played Me Too the first time, and he was just like a random person and asked me to play. So I was like, sure, at a tournament at uh in uh, MDVA, I think it was like a a, a team bench tournament, and um, oh, it was uh, GS two. Yeah, and uh, I chain grabbed him and I showed him how to do. Like I just did it like 
like two, three like games where I just like. Oh, we played one them. game. You four stocked me. <laughs> I think it was. I don't know. We never played no, two games. No, we played games. one. No, no, we played two <laughs> games. It's so long ago. It was one game. Dude. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think you remember because it was so fast. Because I, I beat you the first the time. Average, like, one, one 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 games, it was definitely two games. It was definitely two games. It was one game. No, it was definitely two games. No, you. No, you. Old school has very good memory to be able to talk about this. I've always noticed that about about yeah. Yes, they always remember things quite what well. What year is that? Is that like 06? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I chain grabbed him. I zeroed it. I zeroed it. I four stocked him first game. And then he asked for another because it was so quick. So I, I said, sure. If he no, doesn't remember. I remember. No, I remember. No, we played one game. Okay. So I, I know I, we played one game. No, no, we played two games. Game. We played two games. I'm going to learn this. I'm going to learn this. So, so anyways, the next time I see him, he's like, I, I mastered it. I perfected it. And, and then he started like chain grabbing everybody. But go ahead, tell your story. Oh, like, so, how did okay, you do it? so I remember watching you versus Bomb Soldier. It was like either late 05 or early 06. I don't remember which, but it was just before MLG when PC Chris became like the best Falco in the USA. And I was like, I study. I literally so I watched all those videos, and I studied every single percent. And I went in my room and I used two controllers and I spent multi. I spent the entire week just labbing different percents on different. Types of DIs and making my own flow chart. And sometimes I would have to use like multiple controls at once. Then I would have to like frame perfectly, time my press, like grab and an up throw, That's and then crazy. hope they oh DI back. God. And then I would also use like level four, level one bots and level four bots and level nines, like to get different DIs. And I'd also get my sister in my room to DI differently. Okay, I so I would, I would ask everybody else in this room, like um, like uh, Rishi and like PVMD and, and Zane, when you guys chain grab like a Fox or a Falco, you guys. Do you guys just do it on feel, or you guys just do it like Beatty King? Like he knows the percent and stuff. You in the in the modern day, you have to know the percents. Yeah, yeah, I know, you I know the percents. Yeah, you gotta know the percents. You gotta know the percents and, and react to every di. Yeah, okay. I went to I went to pivot as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, but... you guys, so you guys know all the percents and stuff, like what to do in certain dude, percents. There, dude, there, there are people just on Reddit that'll be like, "Hey, here's a Google Doc I made of like all the." <sighs> they'll just do it sometimes. They just people yeah. do it again for fun. They just like doing all that stuff. So. It's very, it's very common now. Um, I think M two K got really got people to start thinking about the game in that kind of way. Yeah, um, where, where it's not. Yeah. It, it, well, I, I, I still don't know the percents. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of amazing, I, honestly. That's probably why I'm so bad at game grabbing, but I still don't know the percents. That's impressive. I mean, you yeah. still get some, you still get some pretty good follow ups though, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah. I actually wanted to ask Lou. I want to, I want to pivot the conversation slightly to matchups. Um. Mm. Because uh, I think there's some, uh, you know, I think that people's takes on matchups and just like tier list, like character placement, um, you know, Ken, like you said at the beginning, you know, Marth was considered lower, uh, which I think sounds crazy to people now, obviously. Yeah. But um, the, you know, like for even even now, you know, there's starting to be this conversation of like, okay, is Marth the best now? Like, is Marth arguably even number one? Like, that's like kind of a question that. Uh, I think a couple years ago, people would easily say no, and uh, now it's starting to crop up. And what do you guys think about that? I have a comment on that, actually. Um, so yeah, go ahead. A lot of people don't really think about this, but I, I do because, you know, a, lo a long time passed. Mm -hmm. UCF, UCF actually changed the game a lot. UCF gave mm. a, a two-frame. Uh, it made things like Falco's reverse lasers, Fox's up throw up air and movement, Marf's dashback, which also means you don't have to sacrifice pivots for dashback, which means you can get the best of both worlds only on UCF. With certain controllers, which um, is really made, important for Marth. Yeah, and it made Mar, Fox, and Falco both significantly better, depending on how your your play style is. It makes Fox mm. and Falco better across the board, period. And it makes Marth better if you have a controller that's bad at this dashback for vanilla melee, but you want the benefits of um, you, you want the other benefits. So normally there'd be a trade off. But anyway, so mm. I think P Jigglypuff could have potentially been the best character in vanilla melee in a play to win environment where she does all the stalling, no les grab limit, max stalling. Mar Fox and Falco are not going to be at their best and stuff. Puff actually could have been the best, like Leffen and Armada was saying. It's hmm. not impossible well, if the Puff was that shameless. You know what speaking I'm of that, even now, the stalling rules are not very well defined. Mm -hmm. um, I think that there's one rule set where stalling is like pretty much solved, and that's just Rishi's Jungle Jam. But besides that, <laughs> I don't really see... Don't rise and count. <laughs> yeah, stalling is not very... It. It's a... Uh, yeah. It, it just says excessive stalling, and... and I think we've kind of said like if you're rising pound stalling under the stage, it's you could get DQ'd, I guess, or whatever, forfeit the game. But if you're rising pound stalling in like the corners of the screen or like just off stage, you can waste a lot of time for it's no really risk against a lot of characters. It's hard to do against Marth. I think Marth's actually probably the best character at dealing with it, but 
other characters really can't do that much. Makes sense. Off of the lead. Yeah, but I, I think uh, to be honest with you, uh, the fact that Xbox doesn't make his living off of melee tourneys and now it's based on content from YouTube and Twitch, that actually changed the way he plays the game. Though he just holds forward because it's all about reputation now instead of hell yeah. Dude, he doesn't hold <laughs> forward versus me. Every time he, every time he plays me, I feel like he flashbacks right, to 2018. Right, same, 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 same. <laughs> I think I, it, if he's fighting someone like you, it's gonna be like different. Uh, but crazy. if you watch him, he's like, he's like, like wait a minute. Just like, <laughs> it's like just another person. Like he's gonna hold forward way more now because it's more about, like you know, getting the Twitch subs and and the and the and the YouTube and stuff. But when back then, like the main income was like winnings from the melee tourney he would really do like play to win like more shamelessly for example like chew that against him at dreamhack he tried to fight Chew. oh that was a game. great example he lost two and then he decided okay i need to win and he just times him out three times basically or threatens time out three times but we were talking about marth being number one yeah and we were <laughs> yeah. and i think marth is number one and i think marth beat you do Puff. I'm here for that. Really? You think, PP, you think Martha's number one? Like, you're like... Well, able, it's him It's able. him or another guy. But yeah, I'm down to another say guy. Martha. I'm a furry guy. You. Furry guy. Ears. Yeah. Little ears. Yeah, yeah. yeah ears. Exactly. You know him. Yeah. I know that guy. You might have heard <laughs> him on the street. See, I, I, I have. I never believed that Martha's number one. I just played people back then, and they said Martha. Like, when I... <laughs> <laughs> they based it on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was playing them, like, for the first time. Like, I played Isaiah um, back in, like, early, early days, like, after I, after I first went in tournaments and then mm -hmm. I played him and he, I, I completely changed his mind when I was playing him. He was like, oh, I, I never thought Martha was good. And then I played you and I, th I think, I think he's number one now. I think he's the best character. And then he started playing Marth for a bit, Isaiah. And oh, then he's like, that. and he was like, oh, this is, he's the best character for sure. Like, uh, Marth's number one. And then I went to Japan and then I, I beat them and then they were like, oh, Marth's number one afterwards. <laughs> So like, yeah. but they didn't change it. You, you, you did this, <laughs> but but uh, but uh, but but think about it. like I I always thought Marth was like never the best. I still today I don't think he's the best character. But um, so where I, would you again, put him? Where'd you where would you put he, him? I think I for sure he's top three. But okay. I just still think yeah, I think right. I think Fox Falco is still better. Okay. Um, I, I think she I think she I think she beats Marth. But I think um around the whole entire cast I think Marth has uh, like worse matchups, right? Okay. In terms of, like the low tiers and like even when I, I, I thought about Marth, I play again and I'm like, oh fuck, like I'm playing Ganon, you know? Yeah. Like I, yeah, I feel I, that. Like yeah. Even Falcon, right? I I still like when I play Falcon, I'm like oh crap, like I'm playing a Falcon, yeah. you know? Like yeah. I can get zero to death like easily, but um, I rather hope I, I think he does well because like most of everybody just use space animals. So like if you have that matchup down, those two matchups down, like you're going to be in a good position, right? It's so, like that's the same as today, same as today. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, like, it's like Hungry Box. He goes in a, a tournament. And he plays straight up six boxes in a row. He plays that matchup the whole entire tournament, and he's like used to it, right? And he's like, okay, I just played six boxes. I beat them all. Like I win the tournament. So like in, in today's meta, like I, I feel like most people play spaces. So like they don't have like if you're good at those two matchups, you beat Spacey's and you're in a good position. But then if you're a Marth and you go against like Axe and you're like, oh fuck, like I play Pikachu. Like how many times do I play a Pikachu, right? And like that's what happened to me. Like I play in tournaments, I always play Axe. Like I'm in, like in like the top thirties. I play Axe and I'm like, oh man, I'm playing Axe again, you know? So it just really depends like on the bracket too. But if like if you have your Spacey's matchups down, like m most of the time, like you're gonna do well as a Marth. I'm a uh, pretty strong believer that the top six characters are all close enough to each other that there's not really significant matchup swings. Um, and any tier list I've put out over the years, or at least the past few years, uh, I've never ordered it within tiers because I, I think it's just like the difference, if there's a difference at all, is just like so subtle that I don't think it's ever, ever going to surpass like the margin of human error. Uh, and player to player matchup. So I would always say that Fox Falco and Marth are very much close enough in the top three, uh, followed by Sheik, Falcon, and Puff, and then Peach in her own tier, just gatekeeping the rest of the cast. And you probably have like your Pikachu, Samus, Yoshi, whatever, Ices. Mm -hmm. Below that. I mean, what do you what do you what do you think, Zane? Do you think Marth's like top or what? Yeah. The best. I, I, do you think I, he's I, number one? I think he's number one. Yeah. Chat opinion. I think... Chat opinion. <laughs> I think he, uh, I think he beats both Fox and Falco. They're still doable matchups. Um, uh, I think I, I can't say like like I believe he beats Pikachu, but I can't say it because I haven't like beaten Axe or whatever. But 
No, I, I think I think he solidly beats Pikachu, Yoshi. I've always liked the Yoshi matchup too. Same, I, actually, I, yeah. I, I played oh, but it, Amsa like, said Yoshi beats. Mark, I did see that. He, he at a practical that. level, but not at the the super top level, right? No, he just, said, he just said that. He just said that's he? what he does. Yeah, I, lo I love playing Amsa because every time I play, he's one of those people where, uh, like, there was a period where I was I was beating him bad, like in 2019, and then pandemic happened, and I played him at Summit. I was like, there's no way. Like, how would he even practice? <laughs> like, I, was like, I was like, what could he have possibly changed? And I was like, when I played him, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> this guy is like completely Same, but, different. Those two yeah. sets you played in 2019, I, I put this in, in a YouTube video I put out a long time ago. Uh -huh. you, the set length for your two wins over AMSA were within five seconds of each other. Oh, I remember you wow. mentioned that, yeah. yeah. You That's had funny. just downloaded him so hard that you, yeah, the you then, set a timer, you're like, at the end of this timer, I will have beaten AMSA. And then it's yeah. over. And then Summit 11, I play him, and it went like game five last stock, and it was, it was like, it was close, yeah. It was, a, it was a pools match too, and I was like, this is complete, like, Every, he's one of the people like I, I feel like i'm the same way where if i lose to someone i like try to completely reshape like i, I i'll take like pretty drastic measures i feel like to reshape my game plan um mm -hmm. but yeah he's I, I can feel it with him it's it's different every time i play him and it's that set where it went game five last stock or hit though um <laughs> just speaking to marth beating yoshi y you were still making some like errors in your yeah. game plan yeah. Yoshi. Mm -hmm. um and you still ended up winning you know so uh, i i think the public perception about that matchup has been skewed for a long time that's true yeah mm -hmm. uh on then, oh good yeah in terms of marth cheek i've i've always had faith in marth in that matchup chat about um, yeah chat especially I, I think marth playing around low percent as well against cheek um and like showing that he like can threaten cc and then getting Sheik to like she pretty much only has needle and grab at those percents and shifting the way she plays like it's pretty brutal i, I think last stock situations in marth cheek are terrifying for marth like that's high percent fair. club scenarios i'm just like why am i here but yeah. like <laughs> yeah that's fair and he grab is just like you're, dead. you're done yeah, yeah yeah you're just done i, I, I think the way that uh that uh chic marth is heading is kind of interesting because it used to just be like it felt like she kind of had some easy wins in neutral against marth um but with how defensive play has kind of evolved it's not really th it's that's not the case anymore yeah. um and we were talking about this when uh zane you had your your exhibition with leffen's chic and i remember mm -hmm. thinking i i think i called it out actually um we pointed out that Leffen's win condition was going to have to be he puts you in the corner and you have to die from there. If you're at yeah. like mid percent plus and you're in the corner, he has to kill you off that. And he's really good at it. He just started doing it. Yeah. yeah. He, he, you, if you were at 50, 60 plus percent and you were in the corner, you were dead. And he, he just, you know, he won off of that. So I, I feel like that's different than what we've seen in Sheik Marth in the past. Mm hmm. Uh, I have some comments on that too, actually. I think Sheik had a hefty advantage over Marf and Vanilla because Marf would randomly miss dash back, and that affects like the whole matchup. Also, another thing, I, it wasn't common knowledge that like Port for Marf has a better up throw on Sheik. Oh, so, the so, frame. So, like, that actually, like, I, uh. I like Port 1 because I thought Port 1 was better. So I'd always try to like RPS and try to get Port 1. I, I never knew that, like, oh, well, these combos are just bigger. Yeah. Port 4. Oh, so, that's so sad. Dash back thing, and then slightly more perfection now. I think the matchup on Vanilla. And without that port four knowledge, actually changes quite a bit. But nowadays, I think it's like kind of fifty fifty. When before it was like quite solidly Sheik's favorite, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, anyways, yeah. I, as uh, you guys were saying about the whole Fox thing, I just remember like I wasn't even like I just play, started playing melee out of the blue, right? And then um, all these people came in and just like, oh fuck Marth, fuck, fuck Marth. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Like, what's the community, right? And then <laughs> I was like, you missed it. This goes back all the way. Then I don't know. I started playing. Same. 2007 when i started it I was a huge thing at the time so it was going on before that and, yeah and it was going on I, was I go on, I, yeah but i go on reddit yeah. and i see this like the thing of someone posted the tournament where a mars player throws a fox player off like with zero and down tilts and kills him like instantly and i'm I like dude since the beginning of time 
Marth players have been getting shied by Fox from zero death, and Fox players are raging because they get down tilted and dying at zero because they they, they, they jump like <laughs> you know like well, why are they so mad like we've been yeah. getting shied since the beginning <laughs> of time at zero death. Has like, a lot of options in that situation. But oh yeah. Is, is, uh, yeah. Now that we have Twitter, we have propaganda. So, so <laughs> show I, 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 I don't even understand why they're hating Marth. I get a lot of likes, and now everyone else is gonna bandwagon that. Dude, this yeah. is so funny, guys. Remember, our moderator is a Fox player. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but <laughs> PP, it's fine. It's fine. I'm from no, again. I'm from the era where because when yeah. I I remember when I went on Smash Boards and 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 you gotta realize I was in Japan in 2010 and the rule set was FD only. Oh and yeah. I would go to Smash Fest. I would go to Smash Fest at. at I wish I went there. Yeah. yeah, you would have a really good time. <laughs> I would go to Smash Fest. Like the final destination in Japan, <laughs> dude. Yeah, yeah. Final, Japan is the final destination. Oh, let's go. And, and I, you know, I, the, the the main guy that hosted Smash Fest was actually a Marth player who was very, very good at the chain grab. He was like a very like frame data oriented kind of Marth player. And it was that funny because I remember back then, you know, we'd go on Smash boards, and I was it was funny because I remember the prevailing opinion at the time was actually like Marth probably beats Fox, and I remember being like very gung ho about like no, 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 I swear to God, like Fox Brothers, we could do this. Like Fox, oh, yeah. I think Fox wins at a high level. Like I was very 2010? like on the Fox hype train. Yeah, twenty ten. I still think that. <laughs> 2010. That was that was when things started shifting. So that's why it probably shifting was slowly, kind of... right? Yeah, yeah. And then I think I think what what might have happened is I think my generation of Fox players did such a good job hyping up Fox that in 20 I don't know 16 17 whatever <laughs> later on when it was like now everyone thinks Fox is number one character, then people were like. Or then the Fox players of the time were like, okay, well everyone thinks we're the best. We have to like talk about how hard we have it, otherwise. You know, no one's gonna see that side of things or whatever. I just so. said, I think this like time is a flat circle. These, no, all these ratios are so close. To, it's it's like ninety percent if you're better than them or know them. Yeah, exactly. Like I know. it's like this. This is like the ten percent that this because then it's they're just thinking of like like an option cover. It's just it just seems pretty stupid because now I can understand if it was like a really bad character. Like oh man, I can't do a feature or something like. But that I feel like the top is like close enough and like the way melee is as a game, it it's really like. At least eighty percent how good you are, and or how familiar you are with your phone. I have like a funny... this number one status of, for the character. No one wants it. They're just like you take it, man. You take it. You take it. You take it. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be number one. Yeah, it's like... all about looking bad. It's all about like social media and how like oh, you don't want to look bad because then they're so, oh so much better than you because they want to lose. Them. It's, it's really just like this stupid stuff. I kind of liked it before Twitter. That's why I have a really. That's why winning as a low tier is so satisfying because it's just like oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> And BG King, I, I, okay, I completely DTM. agree with you that everything is is close enough that it doesn't really matter. But yeah. the space mean propaganda has gotten so bad that I feel like I have Spacey sitting in my mind already parroting their arguments just in response to what you're saying. I can hear no, the voices. I, just, I can hear the voices. Stupid. I can hear the voices saying, I would agree with you, but only if there's a band in best of five. And there's no band in best <laughs> of five. So I think Marth's probably the best character because of FD. Uh it's rough out here, I, man. Well, yeah. I think I actually think before social media, it was like a simpler mentality <laughs> in the sense that like like when I, like I remember the days like way before I had like social media and stuff, I was literally just like, okay, th I have to do this to overcome my goal, and it was like that simple. And now it's like, okay, I have to, and now it's like people get rewarded for like conditioning other people to believe a certain thing so that they can get patch nerfs or rule set changes. I mean, we always oh, even, had even that, even in Smashboards. Yeah, even exactly. Smashboards, yeah. yeah, but it's, always it was, had that it's, extra, like, it's extra like that. And, and it is extra. Compared to like, like 15 years mm. ago or whatever. It's in my, in my personal opinion. Like it's always been like that, but not to the same degree in my opinion. I mean, just look back That's at uh, the Smashboards thread histories when we were just trying to discuss whether or not to ban Meta Knight. I remember pages oh, and pages. And posts. Yeah, hey, but you know what? I we kinda, banned Meta Knight in Melee. Every tournament. Mm -hmm. We, we did. Yeah, Chad, Chad can't, opinion can't pick once him. again. Can't Dude, pick him. That, that's actually wrong because Meta Knight is in Melee now, isn't he? Well, <laughs> we, they put him in, but that's an illegal mod, and they are trying to circumvent the ban. We need to yeah, shut that down. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. You're right, actually. People You're don't definitely know right. Actually, actually, since you brought that up, uh, Marf is actually not my most used video game character. It's actually Meta Knight. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I, played more I, totally Man Knight. I played more practice in studying in Midnight than I did in huh. any one melee character, but I played melee as a game more than Brawl. Can this pry a lot of this? Do you agree that, I mean, because obviously when you were the most active, there wasn't really social media to the level there is today. Do you agree that, like, you know, it just wasn't really the same vibe back then? Or or, or have people been complaining since the beginning of time? <laughs> No, no, that's way different with like the social media for sure. It is, yeah. Yeah, couple yeah. with boards, like people say things, but on Twitter, it's just like a, a post that everybody sees it. 
Only a few people were using like Smashboards and stuff, but now it's just like anything on social media. Yeah. Unless it say something, and then it's just like explodes or. And then tweets you know, are so or, yeah. short. In Smashboards, yeah. you could write a whole post and kind of like you exactly. know you could say you could you could add uh, you some could, yeah you can reason to yeah exactly well, and then another yeah go ahead. I think people more articulate back in the days too, like Smashboards. Like they people were actually like willing to hear you out. Um, I on, agree, I agree. on Twitter, it's just like you say something, and they're just like, nah, nah, nah. L plus ratio, yeah. L plus ratio, L plus ratio. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like it's kind of yeah. dumb because if you have like yeah. more followers, it's like that yeah. person like wins automatically, or whatever's like the fad of the the day or the week. It's just mm -hmm. it's too much hive mind, I think, in my opinion. Yeah. Like yeah. And as Marth works. players, we really got to do something about this, right, Toph? <laughs> okay. That's right, dude. I, hey, listen, I've been playing a lot of Marth on rank. <laughs> I'm yeah, I want to. I want to actually. Speaking of playing Marth on unranked, uh, I'm curious about you guys' opinion. So I don't know if this is just me or if it's every melee player, but when I'm playing people who are worse than me, like by a good margin, I don't really like playing Marth that much. Um, I usually prefer to play Spaces. So over the last couple of years on unranked, where you're playing someone of a random skill level, I'd say a large portion of my unranked, maybe maybe even more than 50%, 60, 70, is just Fox and Falco, because I just don't have as much fun playing Marth against bad people. But now that the MMR change was loaded into Unranked, where you're playing people of your skill level, I'm playing like all Marth now, because it's really fun to play against people who are good with Marth. If I just, am I the only guy that just likes playing anyone? <laughs> I like anyone of any skill. I just like playing, I just like playing a game. I would just sit down any turn and say, let's just play <laughs> That, well, that, yeah, that's that, fun. I'm always, image I'm of any like major is uh, Mitchie King sitting in the corner with. Uh, yeah, I'll fight computers until someone walks over. I, 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 I once. Yeah. Super but so, so what? What is fun to you guys about playing Marth? So, what's fun for me is like figuring out neutral against a good player. Like that's Here, that's the fun part. Style. It, so, so if the zero <laughs> death is fun for you, then I can totally see like playing Marth like against, for no reason. against people yeah, way worse. Yeah, than you, yeah. Right? It's not. It's not that. When, so when I play someone, I think. Optimizing. For me, it's it's not that it's fun, but it's more just like if this person's worse than me, then I should be able to zero death them every time. So sure, I take that yeah. as a challenge, like mm -hmm. if that's the case. But I, I also do the same thing you did when Unranked came out, where I'll, I'll do like a few Marth games and then I'll like switch um, after after a while. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, with the MMR stuff, I can like literally just load up. I just ran into like Slug the other day and played oh for God, like I just realized I haven't played the game since the the, the rank came out. It's fun. I haven't yeah. played yeah. a single game of Melee this year except for on Meta because okay. I've been so busy spar helping Spargo. <laughs> I guess closing thoughts. Just we can just go around starting with, I don't know. I guess we'll start with uh, uh we'll start with Ken again and and just kind of go up. But uh, where do you see Marth going in the next few years? I mean, I I just started playing like um uh Slippy um mm -hmm. and just like seeing how things are. Um, the new kids are really good. Like all. Most of the matches I'm playing are just spaces, though. Um, mm -hmm. A few Mars in there, but um, I, I, you know, I think I think Zane's in charge, right? Like I've been watching Zane play here, here and there, and he's been doing new things, you know. And um, I guess inspired, like I guess more Mars players out there. So I mean, it's just I think, like I said, I think Mars like a top a top character, but mm -hmm. um, probably Spacey's still play me better with like even me too said with the UCF thing things have changed, you know. But Marth Marth is definitely up there with the UCF things because like dashback's a lot easier and stuff. Um tech skills a lot easier. So um I just think like if you get your spacing down and matchups then Marth still be really good. You know, like even I'm able to like beat most of like the good uh spaces that are on um Netplay nowadays too, you know? Just like doing whatever I do. So I, I don't think too many things has changed. It's, um if you have good fundamentals you're still gonna be really good at at, at melee, right? So yep. Gonna get the job done. Yeah. King PP, how do y'all? How do you feel? And also, by the way, if anyone wants to shout out any like up and coming Marth players, um, obviously outside of all of y'all, but if there's like other people that you guys want to shout out, I guess now's a good time to do that. I mean, to be honest, the people are just gonna say whatever based on Zane's most recent result, dude. <laughs> that's <pretty laughs> that's true. You're, all, you're only your last turn, and nothing else ever matters. It's pretty dumb, but that, that's literally how <laughs> it, it was. How a <laughs> Am I wrong though? That's literally what people do. They don't think they're just like, oh, this is the most recent result. Is one good band? I guess. Oh, it is. It's stupid. Well, you still got your legacy, right? Music. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. I know. Still... I just no, no. I'm just saying that. Like you say, like what is people? Get? They're they're just gonna say, oh, um, Amsa beat or lost to Zane. So this is what the matchup is based on only their last set. And it's like, mm -hmm. well, or like, okay, yeah, they're not uh, wrong. Zane three was a fox. So that matchup's unwinnable again. Or or mm -hmm. or the opposite happens. Oh, we we are wrong about it. It's just. 
You, you know, you know how because I've seen it happen like so many times. I just know it's going to be based on the most recent set. But uh, the other thing is like at the top level, I don't think it like obviously Spacey's and Marf got a lot better. And uh, in contrast, I think Sheik Puff got worse because the way they got better was worse compared to how much Cat and Falcon, Marf, Fox, and Falco got better um, from the UCF change, which I think yeah. thinks matters a lot. But um, I think the, the at least at like the top high tier level. The top tiers and the high tiers, I think, are close enough that it really just matters how well you know the game, how used to you are of the game, um, and uh, like how well you know your opponent and stuff like that. I don't think that other stuff matters nearly as much by comparison. Now, if it was like a very unbalanced game, like oh, uh, let's uh, talk Ganondorf or let's talk like 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 a re like a re actual low tier or something that that's very unbalanced. That, that's different, but there's so many options, it's, it doesn't really matter much. I don't think that matters. Well, I, can I, I can I say something? What, yeah. what, what, what I want to see is I want to see PPMD play in tournaments again. Like I, I, that, me too. I really enjoy watching PPMD's Marth. Thank like, you. Wow. Thank every, you. Every every single time I, I watch like PPMD, I was like, man, why did I think of that? You know, like his Marth is so different than mine. Like sometimes I think like, why Sick. why can't I? You, you know, thank so you. I want to see you play in tournaments again and do well. So thank you. Are we all way different? Like the way yeah, except the except Zane and Ken, who are the same. We have learned this today. Shut up! Yeah. Well, well, again, not, time is a flat they, circle. Shut up! <laughs> Mostly because they're red, but yeah. They're red, they're red. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm I, not... I've watched so many Mars, I'm like, man, I don't play like anybody. <laughs> this is true. I don't but think Mewtwo plays like anybody. You can differentiate, though. You, like, if I see Mewtwo against Mars, I'm like, okay, that's Mewtwo against Mars, you know? Like, you can tell. Like, Mewtwo is really obvious. Yeah. Yeah. There, is, yeah. there is no getting lost about M2K's Mars. I think I'd agree on that. I think I'd be able to tell every, like, top Mars. Like without like a player cam or something, yeah, I, I'd be able, yeah. Same. Yeah, I just say I think Marth. It, now, while I am you know big on the Marth wagon, and I think maybe maybe some of that has to do with I didn't start as a Marth player because you were talking about that before, Tove. Some mains mm -hmm. come up and like him, some don't. I think some maybe that I didn't play him for a long time. Maybe I just see the good side. But either way, um, I do think as much as I love Marth, I think there are some questions. Um, there was. There was the recent left and chic thing against Zane. I love you, Zane, but there is a question because of that. Um, Falcon players are going absolutely ham right now. I think that's going to continue to challenge Marth. That was one of the, you know, just an anecdote from the Falcon roundtable. That was one thing that kind of got brought up that we talked about was the Falcon Marth matchup. And like, yeah. you know, Gatsu was basically saying, you know, I think it's. I think we gotta we gotta whoop the Marths like as as the yeah. like the Falcon community has to come together because like we you know we can really destroy Marth obviously if we oh I think that of the all ground. the matchups that's the one that has you could literally touch you could force stock each other the easiest uh, when yeah. I used to train with Wizzy, so... like before, before like pre ultimate we so there would literally be games where one of us would force stock each other at low damage just because I would like zero death from or gimp him four times and he would grab me and just kill me four times and we just like okay just death touch four times so that could just happen yeah. at any moment brutal yeah, matchup just, oh. Yeah, that that that's that's that that that's the matchup that's like scary. That's one of the reasons I went Sheik. I was like, okay, well, that doesn't happen as much with like Sheik or the other characters as much. Hmm. Yeah, and again, so I mean, I'm not uh, I'm not saying it's definitive. I'm just saying because right, I mean, Zane's done really well against Plup. Like every yeah, time I think it's like even. Yeah, so I just I would I would just want to see it more. But again, that's just at the at the time of recording. This is a question. Um, Falcon. Um, I think Pikachu is. I really think Pikachu is not going to be a question uh, eventually. I think mm -hmm. that I think. I mean, there's a lot coming out with that. I watched Zane, not just the Twitter clip. I watched, you know, I'll see Zane stream and he's doing stuff against yeah. Pikachu. Yeah, 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 let's go Zane. And uh, I think, I think that's. So I think Pikachu is just gonna be pretty solved. And maybe that's, maybe that's hot take or whatever based on Axe's records. But I still think it's true. Yoshi, I think's funny. Um, there has the the Amsa opinion, but I'm, I don't know if I'm really here for that. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. Cody's Fox doing. A, a lot better against Marth lately is also something that's unusual. I don't know if a lot of other foxes are going to pick that up and bring questions there. And then my own personal take, because I play both, is I think Falco might be able to do more too. And I and I don't. This is not really a knock against Mango or other Falcos. It's just there are just other things that I think can be done. That and some of them are doing some good things as well. But so I think Marth has legitimate questions, but. As you know, as long as I mean, Mart also has Zane, so that's pretty freaking good. <laughs> uh, so that's that's kind of where that's kind of where uh, I kind of see. So I think he's not going anywhere, but he's got questions. I think it's it's going to depend more on on which players have the. Or let me phrase that another way. It's less about Marth as a character sitting in the meta. I think where he is in the meta is pretty much where he's going to be in the meta. I guess on a somewhat theoretical level 
I do feel like I see in terms of players who have the discipline and drive to grind and compete and get really good, I see more Fox players than I see Marth players uh, doing it. Yeah. I think, you know, so if you asked if there were any Marth players to shout out, I think over the last year, especially Kadoran and Logan are two standouts mm-hmm. um, uh, who have both definitely brought new stuff to the character too. Logan's four throw tech chasing on Fox is crazy. Speaking mm, of, yeah, can you I identify want... a Marth player by watching? Yeah. Uh, you can definitely identify Logan yeah. by watching. Um, but on the other hand, there are, you know, for every Kadoran and Logan, there's like five Fox players who are playing 20 hours of the day uh, and who are getting, who are getting really good. Um, so, yeah, I think it's, it's a question of, of are people picking up the characters? I would like to see more people pick up Marth. I love seeing people innovate. Uh, I think Marth is an especially fun character to watch uh, be innovated for the direction of Marth Pikachu. Marth Yoshi is heading, like it's inching in Marth's favor every year um i have thought that zane has pretty much got axe's number and i've believed that for his last three losses um and i'll continue to believe that through the next three losses bad opinion um and yeah i mean you know she and falcon i think it's interesting and they'll bring new stuff to the table but i think the foxes and falcons are going to do the same so it just comes right. down to are there enough marth players playing the character who are going to push it in the way the other other players are pushing their characters. Zane, how about you? Any yeah, closing Zane. thoughts? Yeah, uh, I do think I agree with Rishi in the fact that he is going to stay where he is, somewhere hovering top three. Uh, like right now, like I said, I, I do think he he is the best. Yeah, in terms of the player base, we don't have that many Marths, uh, but the ones that we do have, I think, are very high quality, hard working players which is very encouraging. Like someone like Kadoran, when I met him in 2018, I think it was 2018, 2019, I could just tell from the way that he talked about the game a- approached it. I don't know if it's something with Marth players and having like a good approach towards improvement or something, or maybe it's just that when you play spaces, there's more like you get gimp more. So it's just more rage and you're just like, this is bullshit, <laughs> <laughs> but you could, you could just easily tell with him conversationally that he was going to get really good. Um, yeah. And I'm looking forward to seeing more Marths uh, who, who are like that. You, you mentioned like shouting someone out. Um, there's actually this player in MDVA. I don't know if you've met him, Rishi. Uh, his name is Ahmad. Um, and he wasn't super good when I played him the last time at the cave years ago. But I know he's. I gave him a lesson once, and he's put in a lot of work. Um, and I think he could be someone to look out for because... Er- it's this thing where, like, every time I tell him something, he just like immediately implements it. So oh, he does the Zane. Yeah, yeah, he, he does. Zane. The, he does the Zane. Does the Zane. Um, you know, it's funny. This is what um, Amsa was saying about Ingen, the Japanese. Ingen, one. that was another. Oh, that's yeah, a good yeah. person. Yeah. He's saying, he's yeah, saying the same totally. thing. He's like, yeah, I teach him one thing, and he immediately is gets really, really good at it. Yeah, yeah. I watched the sets of Smash World Tour. And Same. how long had he been playing at that point? It was a year. Barely a year. A year. A Barely yeah, a year. That's, that's actually the most insane. It, when I take that into account and I, I think about where I was in a year, it's not even close. Right. And I don't obvi- think I've obvi- ever seen that on a player before. Yeah, obviously Pretty resources ish. are different and like there's different stuff, but that's still mind boggling. Yeah. Obviously, you guys had a lot to say, but I think it's going to be a really, really good like YouTube video. So I wanted to thank all y'all for for coming especially especially rishi ken and mute king who yeah thank you guys uh, yeah it was great having you guys yeah it's really awesome hey guys i hope you liked the video if you did don't forget to like subscribe but also i want to let you guys know that if you want to get better at melee or any smash game or marf or other characters you could book with me on metify.gg and i can help you get better